<laughs> we are officially in October and the year is coming to an end. We've had so many sets this year and yet we still have one more set coming up in November of this year. And it's potentially going to be the best set of the year, if not the best set in Scarlet and Violet altogether. And we're going to talk about that set today as well. Anyways, for today, we are going to be looking at the top five sealed products you want to consider adding to your collections. And I like to do this at the beginning of every month just to see what's going on in the market as well as what I'm going to be investing in for this month. So the first product that I want to talk about today or products that I want to talk about today are Surging Sparks Booster Box as well as ETB. And they're going to take the number fifth spot. I'm just making them joint because the product's not out yet technically, so we shouldn't be really looking at it, but it's definitely the product that you want to be adding to your collection in November. And I'm giving it the number five spot because it's not technically out yet, but it's something that we really need to talk about. Here's why. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Surging Sparks is going to be coming out in November and is potentially going to be the best set of the year. And if it is the best set of the year, this booster box is going to boom. Whether it's going to be now or in the future, we don't know. But this set looks like it's going to be one of the top sets from the Scarlet and Violet era so far. Based on the amount of cards in the set, the amount of illustration rares that is, as well as special illustration rares, we've got quite a few of them here. So this one over here, specifically talking about the booster box right now, is going to be a really good investment. Switching over over to the ETB now. Again, I'm just touching high level on both of these today. The ETB is going to be a special one because of a number of items. The first one is, is you're getting more booster packs. Usually with an ETB, you get nine booster packs. With the Pokemon Center one, you're getting 11. Okay, great. On top of that, there is a Magneton promo card that you're going to be getting with the Pokemon Center stamp, and you get the regular Magneton with the non stamp on it as well. And the reason why I'm mentioning the promo card from the ETB is because of who it was illustrated by Shinji Kenda, which is the same person who actually illustrated the Magikarp from Paldea Evolved as well as the Giratina V from Lost Origin, which are both chase cards from their sets and worth pretty pennies. Now we know that this is a promo card. However, if we look at other Gen 1 promos, such as Charmander from Obsidian Flame or uh, Snorlax from Pokemon 151, they are actually doing pretty well. They're in that $50, $60 range right now. So imagine this, Magneton, Pokemon Center Stamp, Gen 1 Pokemon with this individual who made it, who knows what the price is going to be. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to highlight the Surging Sparks ETB. It's a good one to add to your collections, whether you want to invest in it or if you want to crack it open. It's good for both because you're getting more booster packs with this one, as well as the Magneton. You get both Magnetons. You get the regular version as well as the Pokemon Center Stamp one. So it's actually a really great buy. And to just quickly highlight, we're going to have over 20 illustration rares, and we've seen some of them already. The Latios on the Latios. We've seen the Alolan Executor again with the whole dragon concept. And we've yet to see what the Pikachu illustration rares are going to be in this one because I mean, at this point, there should really be one. So with all these cards, as well as the promo card that I talked about, this set seems to be one of the hit sets of Scarlet and Violet. So just to wrap this one up quickly, the number five pick is Surging Sparks, both ETB as well as Booster Box. And just a reminder, that comes out in November. So you can't get it right now, but you can get it in November. And taking the number fourth spot is Twilight Masquerade Booster Box. Yes, we're talking about Twilight Masquerade one more time. This is my favorite set so far of Scarlet and Violet. And not just because of the Greninja or the Eevee. Well, maybe because of the Eevee. But the, the set in general, it's difficult to pull these cards. There isn't too many, like, chase chase cards, if you want to call it that. The rest of the SIRs are kind of like $5 to $20 range. But because they're so difficult to pull, the illustration rares this set has become super expensive. Let's look at the prices here. So right now in the last six months or whatever the amount of time it's been out for, because it hasn't been out for that long, we're looking at $142.55. We are up 34.25% on this booster box. And it's only been out for like a few months. I mean, it's crazy and it's getting more expensive. You can probably pick this one up in Canada for around $180 right now. Um, again, do, do the math here about 142, about $180 to $200 for a Twilight Masquerade booster box. But again, in just a few months here, we, we've seen it go from its low of $101 in May all the way up to $142.55. Will there be a reprint with this one? Potentially. I mean, it's only been out for a few months and it's already skyrocketing in price. We can only imagine that there will be more prints of this one in the future, which will probably drop the price down a little bit. But so far, Twilight Masquerade has been one of the best sets of Scarlet and Violet. So even if that does happen, it, it's an opportunity for you to get more of this booster box. And personally for me, it's my favorite. 
again, there may be a little bias there when I'm talking about this booster box, but I think it's definitely worth investing in because there are the chase cards that we talked about. It's difficult to pull from, and that's what's gonna boost up this booster box. So Twilight Masquerade takes the number four spot in the top five of October. And taking the number three spot is Stellar Crown Booster Box. And the reason why I'm bringing up Stellar Crown Booster Box is because it hasn't even been out for a month yet. So this is always going to be the best time to buy in when it's at its low point. And Currently, it's sitting at about $105.71. So went down from its 125 mark here, all the way down to 105. So it's down about 18%. Again, it's not a fair way to estimate because it's just been out for, what do you want to call it? Like less than a month or so now. Um, Stellar Crown is a good set. I think it's a good set. There are some really nice cards in the set. You've got Bulbasaur, you've got Squirtle. Both of them are just amazing artworks. I think the Squirtle just outbeats the Bulbasaur there by, by a bit, but both of those cards are really cool and uh, they go well with the Charmander card from Obsidian Flame, of course. And then you've also got uh, the Terrapugus EX. I'm not too big of a fan of this card. A lot of people are talking about it and saying it's actually really nice, the texture of it when you see it in, in, in real life, it looks really cool. Uh, I personally like the Hydro Apple EX a little bit more. You've also got a bunch of other illustration rares that are kind of in that mid-range, between the $5 to $10 range. And it's not a very easy set to pull from. At least I haven't experienced it uh, so far. I've opened up a couple booster boxes and I actually haven't even hit a single uh, special illustration rare. I hit a couple of illustration rares. I hit the Squirtle, but that's pretty much it with this one. Uh, but focusing back on the booster box itself, $105. It is definitely worth investing in right now for the longer term, of course, at the end of the day. In my honest opinion, Stellar Crown is one of the better sets that I've seen so far from Scarlet and Violet era. And even if it doesn't take the number one spot, it will definitely be one of the more expensive booster boxes in the future. So Stellar Crown takes the number three spot in the top five for October. And in the number two spot is Pokemon 151. Yes, I'm bringing Pokemon 151 back into this, the ultra premium collection box. And really and truly, this is for you folks in Canada because there is a huge opportunity for you here. This box is currently going for $140 US. I was at Costco literally a day ago and they have this ultra premium collection box going for $119 Canadian, $119 Canadian. They had a whole skit there. So I mean, like you could buy, I mean, a ton of these for $119 below whatever the market value is here at the $140. And it's it's actually quite worth it. And, and 151 is one of those sets that's just going to be good always. It's just a set that has the nostalgia to it, the Pokemon 151, right? The first generation of Pokemon. So it will always have that drive pushing it to those higher value numbers. And here we're seeing that, right? Like we've been talking about reprints and restocks and whatnot, and we're still at a high here of $140 in the last uh, three months, up 19%. If we look back six months here, we are up 36% in the last six months for this UPC. And I'm talking about, we've been talking about reprint and restock for quite a few months now, and, and, and we're still going up and up and up. So in my honest opinion, 151 Ultra Premium Collection Box, it's definitely a go for, especially for those of you who are in Canada or in the US and, and you have the Costco and you have it available, pick some of these up because even if you can't sell it right now, because in the future, these are going to be worth something. So Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection Box, takes the number two spot in the top five for October. And the number one spot goes to Pokemon 151 Japanese Booster Box. That's right, we're talking about Pokemon 151 again, but there's a reason for it because as I said, for the English set, it's going to do really well, regardless of the reprint or the restock. Same thing with the Japanese version of 151. We can see here like this was at its peak here at around $192, $200, and then it kind of dipped down to uh, $64 but we're already on our way back here. We're up to almost $100 here. We're at 90, $98 as, as it says right over here. Pokemon 151, going to do well. Anything Gen 1 related always is going to have some sort of a push and drive as I was saying with the Pokemon UPC from, from the English 151. And this is the booster box and you can't get the booster box as I mentioned with, with the, the English set. And here's an opportunity of getting it in the Japanese and I think it will do really well. And not to, not to go on and on with this one, Pokemon 151 Japanese booster box takes the number one spot. And the reason why I'm picking it is because 151 is related to Gen 1. Gen 1 things do well. And we're already seeing a price increase with the whole reprint and restock. We went from 60 to hundred dollars. So this is one that you wanna invest in. It's probably gonna get back to those 180, $200 marks at one point, and even probably further in the, in the future. So 
Pokemon Japanese 151 takes the number one spot. Anyways, folks, that is my top five picks for the month of October. We've talked about Twilight Masquerade, Stellar Crown, Pokemon 151, and most importantly, the new set that's coming up, Surging Sparks, which is something that you all wanna look out for. For me personally, Surging Sparks, right around the corner, I'm definitely looking to invest in that one right now because it's going to be at its low point. For Pokemon 151, I've already added quite a few UPCs to my collection. I'm thinking to add maybe a couple of Japanese booster boxes because I don't have any of those in my collection currently. And for Twilight Masquerade, I've stocked up earlier, so I'm okay with that one right now. Stellar Crown, same thing. I was able to pick some of them up during the release week. And really and truly, my focus right now is probably going to be around the Searching Sparks. Let me know in the comments section below what you'll be investing in for this month or if there are other products that you think are worth investing in for this month of October. And as always, if you guys like this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. You guys are the greatest. My name is Tara V. We'll see you next time.